If you hate Jesus, then just keep scrolling, but if you love Jesus, then stick around and watch until the end. God is saying to you today, learn from what's behind you, but look forward to what's ahead. It would be a sad, sad existence if you believed your best had already come and gone. Believe instead the truth that the best is yet to be because that part is up to you. Type Amen if you trust in God. God message today, quit assuming others have it better or you have it worse. Everyone suffers tremendously in life. It's rude to belittle someone's suffering thinking yours is greater. Don't judge someone's suffering as better or worse. A dark life can be lived brightly because pain gave great perspective and wisdom. An average and easy life can be its own kind of tragedy, suffering a mundane deadness. A great life can spoil under great fortune. It's hard having nothing. It's hard having everything. It's hard. Suffering is very personal and cannot be measured by someone from the outside. Everyone suffers in different ways. Life is not a suffering contest. The contest is for compassion. Type 11. 11 if you agree this. God says today, take a moment today to appreciate how far you've come. Sometimes reminding yourself of your strength can give you the courage you need to face another day so that you can continue to move forward. The hard things lead to the good things. The seasons that test your strength, the situations that feel uncomfortable, and the decisions that require courage are the very things that will lead you towards true fulfillment. If you're willing to walk through the fire and surrender to uncertainty, you will eventually experience all of the beauty that awaits you on the other side. So stop running away from the hard things, because the hard things build the foundation for the good things to grow. Type. Amen. If you agree this, today's message for you. Stop apologizing. You don't have to say sorry for how you laugh, how you dress, neon, how you do your hair, how you do your makeup, how you speak. You don't have to be sorry for being yourself. Do it fearlessly. It's time to accept this is you. And attitude to suspiration. You gotta spend the rest of your life with you. So start loving your sarcasm your awkwardness, your weirdness, your peculiar habits, your unique sense of humor, your voice, your talents, your everything. It will make your life so much easier to simply be yourself. Type 21. 21 if you believe this. Universe message for you today, in the end, all the small things make a big difference. Every step is crucial. Life isn't about a single moment of great triumph. It's about the trials and errors that slowly get you there. The blood, sweat, tears, and the small, inconsequential things you do on a day-to-day -day basis. It all matters in the end. Every step, every regret, every decision, every minor setback and minuscule win. All of this has strengthened you. All of this has led you to every success you've ever had. All of this has made you who you are today. And all of this proves that you have the strength to deal with the challenges that are in front of you. Type 33. 33. If you agree this, today's message, you made a choice to get better, and now you must move forward. You must move boldly against any currents. You must be persistent and consistent with your change, no matter what happens. 
The difference between where you currently are and where you visualize yourself is in your daily choices and actions to do better and get better. Don't look back. Don't give up. Don't judge any moments that might cause you to revert back. The point is to recognize, decide, and go forward always. You have a great purpose, and it is time to live it out. Today's message for you, this moment. Tomorrow is not promised. Not a single second or minute is. So, live for today and keep the promises you make. Take action on the things you desire and need. Remind those that matter to you that they are loved and you are grateful for them. Never leave someone you care about on negative terms. Give more than you take. Make the calls you've been telling yourself you'll do tomorrow. Let the small stuff go. Never go to bed angry. We will all die one day, so learn to live each day with the promise to yourself that it'll be better than yesterday. Type 5. 5-5 five, five, off you trust in God. God says tonight, just lean in. Refuse to be idle, sit on the sidelines, and allow troubles to overcome you. Push aside the obstacles, go around the detours, and turn toward and focus on the positives. Make a pact to understand that whatever comes at you, no matter how hard, you can always choose to connect to life's beauty, life's gifts, life's treasures. The turmoil will always be there the learning and growth too, but your ability to see the treasures will be what makes life fulfilling, gratifying, and joyful. So remember to lean, always lean into all that brings you joy. Type, I'm abundant to claim. Today's message, it's okay to be at a place of struggle. Struggle is just another word for growth. Even the most evolved beings find themselves in a place of struggle now and then. In fact, struggle is a sure sign to them that they are expanding. It is their indication of real and important progress. The only one who doesn't struggle is the one who doesn't grow. So if you are struggling right now, see it as a terrific sign. Celebrate your struggle. Don't ignore the little part of you that tells you to keep going, the little voice that's strong and believes in you. Don't run from the part of you that will lead you to greatness and magical opportunities. This year, let that part of you speak louder. You have passion and you are beautifully gifted. Please don't hide that from the world. Explore your deeper self and show yourself what you're capable of. Don't stop until that little part inside of you is proud. Subscribe our channel if you love God.